Signing Fear Factory was definitely not a difficult decision. Um, I saw the brilliance in the band right from the beginning. You know, if you're a Fear Factory fan, you know that back in the old days on their first record, Soul of a New Machine, they were pretty much a straight up death metal band, but they had a unique element to them that no death metal band back then had whatsoever. Um, Burton was putting melodic, singy choruses into death metal songs, um, which was a groundbreaking technique back then, not just, you know, in death metal, but metal in general. I know now it's pretty much, um, you know, kind of a standard thing for bands to have heavy verses and singy choruses. It's, you know, it's like metal 101 these days. All bands do it. Um, it's just ingrained into the metal culture. But back then, there were no bands doing that. Um, when I heard Fear Factory do it. So the fact that they were doing that within the context of death metal was just mind boggling to me because it could be so heavy and brutal and all of a sudden this beautiful, melodic, angelic, soaring chorus comes in. And the minute I heard that I was hooked and I knew it was completely unique and uh, that this was going to be a groundbreaking band. I didn't really even have any competition back then. Um, you know, these were the old days. Um, this was, I think, 1991 when I signed them. There were much less labels than there are now. Um, you know, now if a band like, a groundbreaking band like Fear Factory would come along, I'd be battling 30 other labels for it. Back then there were like one or two. I had a fight to get the band, but uh, we got them and the rest is history. Witnessing that was, I mean, that's why I do what I do. When you're an A&R guy and you sign a band, um, you know, a band that you take from nothing to massive success, it's really, it's the greatest reward in the world. I guess I can equate that to like being in a band, going up on stage, playing for 50,000 people. The, the adrenaline rush that you feel to be a band performing on stage, being adored by your fans, that's what I would equate in my world, the A&R feeling to basically seeing something that you discovered and helped nurture to blow up to that proportion. It's the greatest feeling in the world. It's the, you know, it's the drug that, a, that all A&R people seek is to see your band go on to success. So it's an amazing feeling. Um, you can never get enough of that feeling.